Hey everybody, welcome to Cards and Sharps. How y'all doing? Good, 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 good. Well, time for some more random packs. Uh, one, I just enjoy doing random packs. I think they're fun to do and uh, I enjoy watching them myself. So, uh, gotta always have a bunch of packs laying around that I pick up from time to time or left over from boxes and... Uh, And comes time to do them, it's more fun to do them, open them up, uh, and share with you guys. As you see here, I got a box of the holiday tops. Uh, we'll be opening that on a video shortly. Um, then decide whether I'm just gonna do one box or maybe a couple of boxes of those. I've been picked up a, quite a few of those, uh, just recently, so that be coming up soon. Uh, may or may not air before this one does. We'll just have to see. All right, what what we got here? We got some Allen and Ginter 2018. Uh, had some of those laying around. I have some hobby packs of uh, that I picked up at a card show not too long ago. Uh, some hobby packs 2019 tops update. Uh, have not sprung on a hobby box for those i just don't know that there's a that much more value in in what you can get in hobby versus retail which i have done retail and i uh, should have already posted that by now uh got a pack of uh heritage high number and then we got some throwback stuff here some uh i, I still have a lot of junk wax stuff laying around with dust on them uh, got some 91 OPG Premier and some 92 Stadium Club Series 2. Not a whole lot of exciting stuff out of those. It'll just be kind of fun to, to rip them open and, and see what's, uh, what's in there. Um, I've always loved Stadium Club, uh, the, the photography and, and the pictures on those. Opeachy Premier, uh, kind of a a lower end tops product, but um, I think they mostly made them available in Canada. Um, manufactured by Opeachy Company in Canada, and on trademark license with tops. So, all right, let's get started. Let's start with the old stuff first. We'll go with the the, the least of the what we have, and that'll be the OPG Premier. Um, what we hope for is maybe some stars from that era, and we start off with Cal Ripken. All right, that's what we would hope to find in that card. Almost looks like it's been chewed on. It's got some dents in it, but after 20 years or over 20 years, uh, getting close to 30 years, you got. No telling where the packs have gone through in the in their day. Got Roger Clemens. All right, so far we're getting big names. Denny Martinez. All these big names in their time. Jeff Reardon, uh, a big time closer back in those days. Otis Nixon. He was uh, not much power, but very fast guy. Covered a lot of ground in center field. Gary Scott. Don't remember much about him. And then we got Mike Boddicker, who had had some good years with the. Uh, Oreos and then bounced around some and, and Harry's with Kansas City. All right, next up, an old peachy premiere. Very thin cardstock. Um, those packs have re really feel really thin, and there was more cards in them than actually than I had thought there would be. We got Tim Wallach. Was a solid player with Montreal for a while. Then we got Dave Stewart, Dave Winfield, Tino Martinez, Chris Nabhotz, Wade Taylor, and Ruben Sierra. So a lot of a lot of good names in that. Not a lot of value in OPG Premier, but it's fun to to look at the cards that are. Go back in the day. Uh, nice throwback. 
look here. We got Kirby Puckett, Gary Gaetti, Oral Hershiser, Bob Hayda, Kirk Dressendorfer, Howard Farmer, and Willie McGee for the Pirates. He had his big uh, years with the, the Cardinals. Back in that time when he was with the Cardinals, the Cardinals didn't have much power, but they could uh, hit and steal, and they manufactured a lot of runs, won a lot of games in those days. Ron Hassey, Ken Daly, another Kirby Puckett, Gary Gaetti again, Hershiser, Ojeda, and Dressendorfer. That looks like almost a repeat of that previous pack. All right, that's it for the OPG Premier. Not a, I mean, tip, kind of mind you, tops. You know, a lot of good action pictures. Uh, looks like they're all action shots. Uh, you know, kind of a, just a basic uh, design. And here's what the back looks like. Uh, didn't give you career uh, stat breakdowns, but it did give you... So a little bit of stats and then give you some career numbers and also you'll notice some of the verbiage is in French as well all right interesting to see those again I hadn't hadn't seen any OPG in a long time they they had plain OPG and then they had the premier which was kind of their step up which uh, still didn't take it up very high level all right we got 92 stadium club series 2 again about all we can hope for is maybe some uh, some uh, hall of famers and I have not looked at the checklist to see what we might expect on these we'll just kind of go through it and see but again love the photography and the borderless design so far nobody of, of note Andy Benes he had some good years Todd Stottlemyre he, he was solid in the 90s Mike Schooler he was a pretty effective reliever in those days and Dave West Gary Ritas Willie Banks Mel Rojas, Mike Benjamin, Greg Litton, Kirby Puckett. All right, that's a good one. We'll kind of set that aside with Jim Alston and then John Keeley. All right. Cards not sticking together too bad. Considering their age, um, but these really aren't as glossy as some uh, stadium clubs were. These actually, these feel like these might be sticking together a little bit. Well, we kind of, yeah, there you sound like knuckles cracking. Got Jarvis Brown, Gary Pettis. I believe he's a third base coach for the Astros. Thomas Howard, Gino Minutelli, Tim Wallach, Tom Brunanski, Rob Dibble. He was a hard throwing reliever back in, in the day. Uh, he, he's done some analyst work. I know since then. Bob Malacki. And these are sticking together real bad. Tom Glavin. Not bad. That would be up he probably third, fourth year, looks like. Danny Darwin. Which he actually had a pretty long career, kind of a middling pitcher, a uh, little spot starter, some relief. Joey Cora, manager. Eric Anthony. Charles Nagy. He was a 
pretty hot pitcher there for a while in the 90s. Best so far has been the, the Puckett. Um, mid, kind of a mid-career card. Not so, nothing too, too valuable. It's always nice to get some of the Hall of Famers in, the, in these older cards. All right. Last pack of uh, Stadium Club. We got Bob McDonald, Ed Sprague, Jeff Husson, Mike Timlin, and we got a member's choice, Will Clark. That was kind of a that was kind of an insert type card for Stadium Club. Um, or a kind of a subset, I guess. John Smiley, Omar Olivares, Stu Cole, Wes Chamberlain, Mo Vaughn, Howard Farmer, Scott Terry, Mitch Williams, Wild Thing. And Lance Johnson. Alright, well, not a whole lot in Stadium Club Series 2. We didn't inspect a whole lot. Um, it looks like probably more uh, of the obscure players ended up in Series 2. That's why you can pick the packs up pretty darn cheap. Alright, let's uh, keep going older to newest. And let's do some Alan Ginter, 2018. I've done a little bit of 2018 Ginter. Didn't do a lot of Ginter of these, but um, I end up getting a lot more 2019 Gin Allen and Ginter because I just seem to like the product better and and had more fun with some of the inserts and and oddball cards that that we get in Ginter. Got Mustakas. Addison Russell, Benjamin, and who is H. John Benjamin? Looks like a comedian or an actor. We got a No More Mazzara. And the mini of Underwater Hockey from Exotic Sports. Interesting. Didn't know there was uh, such thing as underwater hockey. We got Moon. This one is Europa. And it's going to tell you it's one of Jupiter's moons. If you're more interested in about Europa, then you might want to Google it rather than me holding it up there and reading it. We got Strowman, Manny Machado, Pollock, Blumstein. What is Blumstein? Scott Blumstein. He's a poker player. And we got a Dickerson mini. And we got a fantasy gold mine defensive wins above replacement 29.6. Pudge Rodriguez. All right, I'm a big Pudge fan. Uh, being a Texas Ranger fan, I was always a Pudge fan. And when he came to the Rangers in the early 90s, um, I ended up with a, getting a puppy. Not long after he made it with the Rangers and affectionately named that dog Pudge in honor of uh, Pudge Rodriguez. We got Dijon, Martinez, Method Man, You the Rapper, Lorenzo Kane. We got a mini of Incarcinon. World's Greatest Beaches, Roy Tan. And I'm going to have to uh, concur with that. I was in Roy Tan just a couple of weeks ago. And I have actually been to that beach right there. Um, very nice place. A lot of fun. Uh, we were there 
on a cruise. Uh, this got back a couple of weeks ago. And Roy Tan was one of the places we went. So that is a cool card. We got Myers, Joey Votto, Corey Kluber, Mark McGuire, and a mini of Jock Peterson. And what we got here, we got a world talent, and that's going to be a Raldus Chapman from Cuba. Do not know if he's going to stick with the Yankees, uh, he's going to take his option or if he's going to go out and shop around see if he can make more money um uh, got wait a lot of wait and see on a lot of guys right now on that so uh we'll see what he does all right that's it for 2018 allen and ginter let's do the high number heritage uh, this came out of a hobby box so Maybe we'll get something good. Maybe an autograph. Uh, doesn't look like there's any relics in here. Maybe some uh, variations or something like that. Not feeling too confident since we just got one pack of them. Junior Guerrera. Alex Verdugo. Ryan Brazier. Got Nate Lowe or Lau. Chris Paddock. Wow, a couple of decent rookies. In there, Aaron Sanchez, Jerickson Profar, Kyle Zimmer, and Sonny Gray. All right, we'll cheat and look and see if they any of these are labeled as anything, uh, any parallels or anything. There's some pretty high numbers in there, so there, some of them may end up being. Uh, Short prints, but I, I don't remember exactly where the short prints hit on those, so not too too worry about it. And even if they are, there's no no huge names in there. All right, let's go on to Tops Update 2019. Not as hot as 2018, probably, and probably won't be because uh, I think the the good rookies all appeared in earlier series and other sets uh no shocking surprises or anything like that so uh might be a few guys in here that we may hear from down the road we got kimbrel with the cubs didn't excel too too much with while he's with the cubs but perez martin perez alonzo Dubai, debut We'll take that every time. We'll get Ricky Combos. Kyle Bird and Kyle Dowdy. Um, neither one of them really accomplished much this year and don't look like they've got a really a lot of future. Miguel Castro. We got a Vlad Guerrero Sr. Greatest Seasons. Russell Martin. James McCann, Chris Paddock, Josh Van Meter, Eric Swanson, and Glaber Torres. All Star Game, Glaber Day. All right, let's go to pack number two. Again, still not seeing anything all that value enhanced in the hobby version of this versus the retail. So, Still, still not leaning toward picking up any hobby on these. We got Ryan Harper, Mike Moustakas. He's probably going to get a nice payday uh, in free agency. Adam Warren. Keiston Hura. Nice one. Robbie Grossman. And see this one. I've gotten several of these. Hunter Pence uh, getting a Gatorade bath. Hunter Pence and his wife have a YouTube channel. You guys were to check it out. Uh, get the, a lot of insight into his life and, and some behind the scenes with baseball stuff that's interesting. And, and he just appears to be a genuinely, genuinely good guy. Justin, Justin Verlander. 
who did not really have a stellar playoff run. Not terrible, but not Verlander standards. Uh, all right, we got a 84 looking tops of Eloy Jimenez. Not numbered. We got a Willie Mays. Nicky Lopez. Clayton Richard. Jose Abreu. Matt Chapman. And Ty France. All right, nothing, nothing too exciting yet. Got other than you know, a couple of the rookies you'd hope to get. Now if we can get a Tatis uh, and a Vladdy Jr., we'll be we'll be calling this a pretty good break or pretty good rip. We got a Trevor May, Brendan Rodgers, Matt Strom, Austin Riley. Matt Watherspoon and Braden Klein. A couple of Baltimore guys. Ryu Hien Jin. There's a Vladdy Jr. soaring in the six. We'll, we'll put that in the rookie stack. Rookie combos. We got a Parker Markle, David McKay, and this is a 150 year card not numbered home run and shutout Noah Syndergaard there's a Vladdy Jr. Vladdy Jr. debut Nick Hundley Wilson Contreras George Springer and Daniel Vogelbeck all right well uh, fairly uneventful uh, rip on uh, random packs, but we did out of the update did pick up uh, some of the rookies you'd hope to get. Uh, we get the Guerrero debut. We got Austin Riley debut. Brendan Rogers, Eloy Jimenez, Kira, and. Paddock, and then we get an Alonzo debut. And, uh, we'll take all the Alonzo cards we can get. And um, so, there you have it. Uh, rather uneventful random pack opening, but always fun. Uh, it's nice to just have some uh, different looks rather than just same cards over and over, but. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, hit the like and subscribe. If you like these random packs, let me know, and I'll keep doing them. I still got lots of packs laying around uh, various years and and flavors, so um, let me know what you think. That's all I got for now. We'll see you guys next time.